Alright people, what's going on? This is Juanas and um, a few people have been mailing me and asking me where I get my gifts from. Either I go to Google and I just look for free animated gifts or 3D gifts, but usually I make my own gifts. So people wanted to know how I make my own gifts and uh, I figured I'd give them a tutorial since, you know, in YouTube you can actually put animated gifts in your profile picture now. So what you're going to need here is you're going to need Adobe Image Ready. I have CS and I have CS2, but I'll do it in CS because pretty much probably everybody has CS. So you're going to need Adobe, Adobe Image Ready. All right, ready? If at any point you don't understand the tutorial or anything, just please feel free to comment me. Leave comments on my, my, on my YouTube, my MySpace, or whatever. All right, the first thing we're going to do, first things first, is we're going to go up to the top left, hit File, New File. Open it any size you'd like. It don't really matter because this is just a basics. So you get the basic general idea of how to actually do this. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my text bar. I'm going to drop text in here. And I'm going to put in my name. I'm going to put in W-H-O-N-E-R-S. Okay? There you go. Who won this? Now when you put it in here, you're going to notice it's going to go into your layer palettes. Layer history, actions, whatever. Okay, now what you want to do is you're going to duplicate that who one is or your name about I'm gonna do it five times just give you a basic you can do it however many times you'd like it to animate or whatever so now you go over to the layers your new layer palette right here and you click on the who one is or whatever your name is right click it and you'll see duplicate layer so do that five times one two three four five okay now we have five so it should look like that see Copy five, four, three, two, who one is copy in the original. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna make it go from up to down. It's gonna shoot up on the screen. So it looks like this. So now when you make those layers, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the first one that you have and you're gonna separate them from the top. So that's the top layer. We're gonna put that one all the way up here so it's gonna look like it's shooting out of the screen. Grab it again with the move tool. Just you know, space them out so they look like they're animating. And I'll spread them across the screen. Three, four, and that's five. Okay. Now. Okay. That's how many of them. Okay. I put in one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Right. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to make those six copies. You're going to duplicate it six times. Then you're going to separate them. Spread them all out. Okay. Now, this is the easiest way to do this. We're going to do it from down to up. Okay, the last one's going to be down there, this one's going to be second to last, and that's going to be third to last. Okay, it might not be too straight, but you get the idea. Make six copies, five copies, however many copies, it should look like this. Now, see the eyes, the view eyes? Shut them all out till you get to your bottom layer, which is going to be from top to bottom. Remember, it's going to run from down all the way up. Okay, shut all the eyes down till you got the one first one that you're going to use. Now, you're going to go into your Windows bar. You're going to go to Windows. You're going to open up Animations. Animations is going to open, and it's going to look like this. That's the Animation bar. If you have it up, then it's up already. Okay, inside the Animation bar, we're going to keep the eye on. That's the first one that we're doing right here. So we have the eye on it, so it's being seen. Now, you're going to go touch the little arrow to the right. And it's going to show you new frame. We're going to put in as many frames as you have names. So if there's six of them, five of them, you're going to make five frames. So each of the names has a frame. So two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we should have six frames. You should have six frames. That match the six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So each of these who one is besides the background has a frame of its own. Okay, remember, the first one we're doing, the first animation, is the bottom one. That's that one. So now you're gonna have the eye on that one. When you go to frame, now you go to the second frame. Shut the eye off on this on that first one and put the second one on. Same thing with the third one. Third one, shut the frame, put the third one. Fourth one, shut the frame eye, put the fourth one. Fifth one, same thing, close out the eye, put the eye. And last but not least, the sixth one, shut the eye, 
and put the eye so you can see it on the sixth frame. So now when you play it and you review it in your animation, it should look like that. See it's going kind of fast? You can slow that down. I'm just going to leave that like that because I really, I'm really not going to really fine tune it because I don't want to take make this video too long. But you can fine tune it. You stop it down here and inside the animation bar, under each frame, you see zero seconds. You can put five seconds, five tenths of a second, one second, two seconds, five seconds, as much as you want to go. I'm leaving it at what it said at zero seconds so it's going to kind of go fast like that. But that's pretty much the animation thing right there. See, it's animating, and it's going from bottom to top. I hope that helped you out. If it's not too clear the tutorial, just let me know, leave a comment, and I'll be happy to get back to you. I have no problems. Leave it either on my MySpace or my YouTube. Actually, leave it on my YouTube because my MySpace then I really don't get it on my MySpace because it's all shitty. Now, when you're done, you made your frames. You made your six frames, six animations, six names, each of them. Shut them out. Each frame, shut the eye, the preview eye, and put the preview eye for the next one. So if it's going to go from down up, first one's going to be on, second one's going to be off, 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 off. Next one, second one, you know. It's pretty simple. Once you get the hang of it, just go over the tutorial once or twice, and it'll be straight. Then when you're done, you're going to go back to File, and you're going to try and save it as a GIF. So you're going to go save, optimized as, and uh, we'll put it as who, Annie. That's going to be my who one is animation. You put it on your desktop. It should save. You should have a file that looks like this. That's what a GIF looks like. Uh, I hope that helped you out. Yeah, I hope that helped you out. And uh, that's pretty much how you make animations. Pretty simple. You might have to just play with the time so it doesn't so fast. Mine, I just left it because it doesn't really matter to me. So that's why I made it go so fast. I mean, you can fine tune it to go slower. You can put pictures in it. But I just gave you the basics on just how to set it up. You take your imagination, you do whatever you want with it. I hope that helped you. Like I said, if you have any comments or any problems or you didn't quite catch the tutorial the right way or you have any questions, if you have any questions, even if you've seen the tutorial, even if it's you think it's a stupid question, it doesn't matter. I'm usually at my computer. Leave the message. If I don't get right back to you, you could get in touch with me on AIM. The name's W-H-O-N-E-R-Z at AIM, and my AIM's always on Feel free to message me at any point. I will get back to you if I don't get right back to you. Hope that helps. I hope you make animations. And if you make them, and you make a few of them, and you use my tutorial, put them on my page. Drop them off on my MySpace, or put them on my YouTube, or put the links on my YouTube in a comment. I'll be more than glad to look at them. And I'm sure people will probably like them too. All right, have a good one. Um, stay tuned, subscribe, because I'm going to have, I'm going to do a few more tutorials for everybody because a few people have been asking me a few different ways on certain things. So if you have any questions, leave them. Please subscribe if you want. I will have a lot more tutorials on animations and other things. And if you feel that you want to see something specifically that I haven't touched or you have some sort of uh, graphic problem program, just let me know because I pretty much deal with any programs and I'll be glad to help anybody I can. All right, remember, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.